Yo, what's up? We are now outside my home and behind me here you see the Nissan Leaf 62 kilowatt hour and today I'm gonna do a range test. This is a little bit weird uh, starting position. Normally I'll be starting from Dahl or Nebenes but since we are dealing with Leaf I know that if I drive to Nebenes the Leaf will charge super slow or Dahl even to 100% and I've been, I kind of tested it before. I want to test it in proper cold winter today, the range test. So we will actually start from here. It's actually a slight disadvantage because we have, we have some headwind and some uphill. So I think I will offset or compensate for that by driving a little bit slower and maybe be a little bit stingy on the heat, maybe for the first 50 kilometers. That should kind of compensate for it. And of course, this car should be able to drive almost 300 kilometers. So we will see. Uh, it, it should kind of even out that initial disadvantage. But having to drive to Nebenes or Dahl and then charge it for over an hour. Nah, I'm not keen on doing that. It's not that important. But okay, let me show you now inside what it looks like. Ooh. So... Uh, the car has been charged to 100%. It doesn't show 100% here, but once we start drive, once you unplug, it will say 100%. I'm still plugged in because I want to preheat as much as possible. So we've been preheating for at least an hour and the battery is nice and cold, that's good. And you see this one here, uh -huh. let me just adjust here a little bit. The car claims that it has 58.6 kilowatt hour remaining. I pulled out 57 kilowatt hour before from a, from a similar uh, leaf, so. We will see. So, live stream is up and running. I'm gonna do the final preparation and then off we go. All right, we are on the move now and uh, we will drive at you know, 80 kilometers per hour on this speedometer is actually 75 kilometers per hour. And we are actually driving more or less the same speed as the other Norwegians here anyway. So yeah, it, it, it is actually perfect for me to take it easy for the first 20 kilometers at least. So, right, and you see, as I mentioned, we start with, once we unplug, we start at 100%. So, uh, we shall see then. Nice weather today. Yeah, I picked this day because it's nice weather. We are now at Rudshögda, and uh, we have done, well, we have to correct for this. Um, I measured uh, that uh, it, it actually uh, shows 1% too much here, so, yeah. Well, okay, so we're down to, oops, oops, oops. We're down to 50% now. I'm going to turn around here. At the root circle and turn back to uh, uh yeah we'll see where we turn around yeah we are now at Klofta and this is the end at six percent we get a low battery warning that's the first warning i don't remember if we get more warnings but uh, yes this is a bit unusual because most cars i will be stopping at five percent but the leaf has a little hidden buffer so you see that the display shows five percent but if you look here we actually have, oh, hang on, there, kind of. We actually have 15%. The leaf is hiding about 10%. I don't know really why they did it. But we're gonna measure down to zero anyway. Yeah, because we can't expect peop regular people to have leaf by. So um, we are now uh, 19 kilometers away from Ayuntidal. That's where we are aiming to uh, charge. And the stats so far, and you see it's pretty cold outside that was the purpose also minus 11 degrees yeah so far so good oh uh -oh. we are down to three percent and right now the car is not showing any range numbers yeah, we are behind some slow people here but i'm gonna speed up soon but yeah this is pretty scary for most people that you don't see any range left so <laughs> but uh, fair i mean uh, have no fear because we know that we have at least at least six more kilowatt hour and then leaves by estimates 28 more kilometers of range down to 5%. Oh shit, it's a bit uh, too dark here. There, yeah. That's it. We have no juice left, 0%. Yeah, we are at absolute 0% now. So let's check the stats, okay. Yeah, at absolute zero. This is what we can expect. Uh, but uh, the display here still claims about 10% left and we still have six kilowatt hour left and we are, uh, uh, let me see, uh, eight, uh, 7.5 kilometers away from Dahl, yeah, so we're gonna bail out here, yes, it's time to bail out now. Now I just have to get past this truck. Oh yeah, we're charging now, and um, okay, so for this run, the 90 kilometers per hour run, 
the car claims uh, a range of 265 kilometers, but uh, the distance is overreported by 1%. So the real distance is 262 kilometers. And this is uh, the way to measure it, I think. We have to measure it to the regular zero because we can't expect people to be ninjas and have leaf spies because with leaf spy, you can actually go a little bit below zero like I did. Uh, but okay, so uh, we, if you measure it to the regular zero, the displayed zero, it means that you can get 51.4 kilowatt hour out of this battery. Uh, and the consumption is 194. Yeah, not too bad considering it was minus 10. So this is the, down to this regular zero point is what I'm going to put in the spreadsheet. I think I did a mistake in the past, but okay, whatever. But of course, I will also mention that um, if you go to the absolute zero, if you have least buys and know what you're doing, uh, then uh, if you look at the end uh, screenshot here and what we have left, what the car claims to have left, then it should be 57.6 kilowatt hour total. But you people, many people say that you can actually not use it all the way until it leaves by says zero. So, uh, but at least if it go down to uh, some, there was one guy who said that his 30 kilowatt hour leaf could go all the way to half kilowatt hour left. Okay, so that means we should be able to get 57 kilowatt hour then. So actually this is a pro tip for serious leaf owners is get leaves by and then you can actually <clears throat> utilize a little bit more of the battery. So now we have to charge up the car and you know, we are here at Ayuntidal. It's been a while since I've been here to charge. So I bought, this is taco salad. Oh yeah, Mexican. Man, it's been a long time since I put a big Mexican in my mouth. Let me try this. Oh man, guacamole. This is, this is uh, guacamole. Holy guacamole. Mmm, mmm. Highly recommended food. We have mostly burgers and shit food, but this is just quality food. Well, I mean, better than, yeah, what you can find usually out there. Mm. All right, we've been charging for over an hour. So now we're good to go, I guess. Uh, the, the charging suddenly stopped and then I tried another chip and then it charged for a little bit and then it stopped again. So it seems like this car is a bit moody, but that's fine, I guess. Uh, we had 95%. Uh, so now we will do the high speed test, but it is four in the afternoon. So there is some traffic. So I'm not sure if I can maintain 120. I will try, yeah, I'll try, but okay. Minus 10 degrees outside. Yes, go. Let's see how long we can drive now at 120. <laughs> okay, no, I was going to leave and I saw this white e-tron charging. It's Chris. Yo. <laughs> Yo. You see this? Oh he's, oh, he's doing a charging test. Yeah, this is insane. So sneak peek for your viewers. Oh. Look at that speed. Wow, 140. What's the temperature outside? Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. Wow. So this is just uh, insane. 100, and I'm not running in the heat at all, right? So yeah. <laughs> this test uh, fair and square. Like a ninja. Yeah. All right. Okay. How, good luck. Okay, see you tomorrow when we're doing the Model 3 uh, long range versus performance. Yes. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Okay, he's getting 145 kilowatt. I'm gonna hammer it now. All right, we are on the move now. So there are actually not too many left lane huggers here to my big surprise. Yeah, that's great. The battery is at 40 degrees. That's actually also good for uh, not too high inner turn resistance. So uh, you're gonna see then how far we can drive. The car right now estimates that I can drive 160 kilometers. Wait there, another 160. Okay, okay, good, good, good. We are now at Harman and over here it is minus 13 degrees Celsius outside. That is proper cold. We are down to 63% now, still hammering it. Yeah. Oof, it's clear sky over here. So that, that, yeah, that's cold. All right, we are back, but not at Dahl. We actually went to Nebenes, which is nearby because Dahl was overcrowded with cars charging. But over here, we have plenty of stalls available. So no really big deal. But if you look at the trip meter now, the car claims uh, 268 watt hour per kilometer. The real consumption is 271, which is actually exactly the same as ID3. So, all right, guys. I was wrong once more because when I draw the ID3, I claim that the ID3 was efficient. It turns out that 
it's actually exactly the same as leaf so yeah well i was wrong <laughs> i was wrong then and then when it comes to range on the leaf at high speed um 181.5 now there's a one percent error here so we have to correct for that one and that means that the the real range uh, is 189 kilometers so we started with uh yeah remember you know we started with 95 percent and we ended up with zero percent so um and also i calculated the energies if we look at the numbers here we take the the consumption multiplied by the distance we draw and then divided by 0.95 we actually get 51.2 kilowatt hour and the previous measurement at low speed we got uh, 51.4 so actually it seems like the leaf battery has very little losses when you go at high speed that is good some cars are measured to have significant losses uh, because of higher, I don't know, maybe low internal resist. I mean, high internal resistance. Whereas the leaf battery seems to have fairly low internal resistance. The only problem with the leaf battery is that it has no thermal management. In the beginning of the day, if the battery is cold, the the car will actually cold gate, which is that it charges slower than usual. But then, fortunately for the leaf, it doesn't cold gate that much. Once the battery heats up, it stays hot. And now the battery is at 45, 46 degrees Celsius and we are only receiving 30 kilowatt because the battery is overheated. Uh, yeah, you would be surprised. I mean, we've been driving in minus 12 degrees Celsius, but it overheated. <laughs> Wait, someone is calling me. Oh, what the heck? Let me... Okay, I'm going to call him back. But uh, so anyway, yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.